Alright everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the Draft of Glory. It's the second episode now and I have to get all the way through the final in the first episode to lose. We are back in to see that a lot of stuff from our packs have sold on. Where you'll also notice that we have just about hit 15k and enough for our next draft. We we're going to clear it easily anyway because there is still a few things to sell. Quite a lot of things actually but as soon as Onana sold it's pretty much halfway there. It's not too bad at all. And regarding the season objectives here, we have leveled up a few times. Obviously, it's pretty much irrelevant. The only reason I'm doing this to bring it to your attention and stuff is that we've got that coin unlock. So for like five games or whatever, we get an extra thousand coins. So that'll definitely help us out, making us the coins back to start more drafts. But yeah, getting into it today, we go ahead and spend the 15k we've got there on new draft. Go for the 4 2 3 1, and we will just flash through to the final draft to show you what it looks like. Quite a nice one. Headliner is Bamiyang, Prime Moment Sedan, Team of the Year Kante, that Future Stars. Tomori and Moen Zanetti. It all links together quite nicely, but you'll obviously know that Davos Silva and Mad Ozil, even with Hunter Camp styles, aren't the greatest to have in Cam in this game. But on the bench, we've got Team of the Year Mane and Shapeshifter Cristiano Ronaldo. So they'll probably be making quite early appearances to get us the strongest team possible to go with. So we'll take this into our first game. This is Team Up against quite a nice one, 4 3 1. Got Ronaldo, Messi, and Burkamp. And you can see here, pretty much fun kickoff. This guy paused it. I just took my chance, made the subs already. So I put Zidane in the middle. Ronaldo out on the right and Mane on the left. But 10 minutes in, this guy's through with Dennis Bergkamp. Cracks the shot, done around middle now. Any chance of that is a rocket and we're 1 0 down. And nothing really happened until the last 5 minutes of that game where he's in again. It's Carvajal down the right. Dinks it in behind Mbappe. Controls it, completely spins me. Bangs the near post. And yeah, not the greatest. A first round exit. Hilariously, it's one of the hardest games to play in the draft this series so far. This guy was just a lot better than I was. And that's just one of those things you have to risk when you're doing the draft. Sometimes you will just come up in a game, even if it's in the first round, against someone who's just way better than you. And will likely go on and win their own draft. You can see the stats there. 13 shots to 3. 59% possession to 41. Pretty much written off as soon as we're matched up. But yeah, we'll flick through here and see the rewards we get. And we actually do get quite decent rewards for the first round. The two gold packs, they're fine. But the premium silver players pack, that can honestly almost bring you 10 to 20k on its own sometimes. So I was pretty happy with that. I'll fire the packs open here quickly so you can see what I get. A couple of decent players like Baka and Conan in there that do have a little bit of value in the market, so they'll be listed up along with everything else. Squad Fitness in there is always very nice from a gold pack as you're rare. So that's pretty much one to 1.5k on its own. And in the second 5k pack, we get Roman Sice. Again, there's no rare players, but we've got Roman Sice there, Ferran Torres, Locatelli even might be worth a bit. Even though that goalkeeper is Union Berlin, he probably won't be worth much because he's a goalkeeper and there's a few goalkeepers for them. Any other Union Berlin player is probably worth it bit of a fortune but again we just list it all up contracts and all and then the silver pack the one that I was quite excited to see what I get in open it up and you can see here we get quite a few nice players the main players you want to look for are the ones from the league SPC teams like Tete there don't know if it's Tete or Tete I do apologize and then there's a Sheffield Wednesday striker it's Carl Jenkinson a Lille player that's just a name of few even that Sudamericana card will definitely bring me in some coins and after listing all these players up we'll skip through an hour or two just to see what would sell and you can see we're back up to just about 15k. We've scraped away back there. Again, there's still a few things selling, which I will sell on as soon as I can. We hit that 15k, and because I don't want this episode to be really short, I have just that one disappointing draft in it. We'll go in and do another one. This time it's a 4 1 2 1 2. The narrow variation, and we'll skip through to what the final draft looks like. A top two of Cristiano Ronaldo and Inform Lukaku. Prime moments, Ronaldinho. Prime moments, Zanetti. I've got Team of the Year Robertson and right back, just in 6 cam. Quite a fun little team there. And a few decent subs on the bench as well. The main ones that I'll be using. Team of the Season, Hyungmin Son and the regular Messi. I was pretty much planning on bringing Son on pretty early every game for that Lukaku. One, because I haven't really tried out Son yet. And two, because Lukaku is wank in this game. So, we'll take this in our first game. We're coming up against this team. It's an alright one, but nothing really special, if you know what I mean. And in this game, 6 minutes in, we are finally the first one to score. Teo Hernandez is actually quite unlucky not to score that, but the clearance falls straight to Ronaldo, and he is definitely not going to miss that. 1-0 to us, but 20 minutes in, Visca is running down at us, cuts it back to Royce, he finishes that near post. Fairly simply to be fair to him, but this is where Tim Season Son comes into play, Ronaldinho plays him three, he knocks it on, he's not getting caught at all there. Cuts it in with a barber spin, takes a shot and finds the bottom corner, back in the lead, and then 10 minutes after that, this time it's some very nice play between Ronaldo Son and Ronaldinho, which ends up having Ronaldinho run through, bangs the top left corner. And that was pretty much the game in the bag, we were all over it at that point, but it wasn't even the last goal of the half, Lewandowski chips it through the Royce. He's gone. Pretty nice finish for him, to be fair. But in the start of the second half, we've got a free kick here. 
That's how these Ronaldinho. now. Just aim at top corner, he bangs it, puts it in, get the free goal advantage back. And then 50 minutes in, Teo Hernandez makes a bombing run down the left. He runs his keeper out a bit. I just crack one for the sake of cracking it. Does find the corner, which results in the rage quit to send us through to the second round. So in the second round we go. This time this is the team we're up against, the 4 one 2 one 2 wide team. With that prime moments, Ronaldo, team of the season, Felipe Anderson. Pretty nice prime team. Bit sketchy in the fence there with Bernardo and Christensen. So just hoping that that would make it easy enough for us. But 10 minutes in, Felipe Anderson just evades my defence completely. But he can see the goal, go 1-0 down. And that is the end of that. Ronaldo plays Mane through. I run my keeper out and he just chips him. I tried to put the pressure on him and make him mess it up. And he just ended up punishing me for it. But in the second half, we were finally getting in the gear. Ronaldo sprinting through, smacks the top left corner. You get that pressure going nicely. And then 10 minutes after that, so then he plays through Ronaldo at the Van Dijk Van Dijk position. It's a weird shot, but it found the bottom corner. To bring us back level, and then Son here gets across nicely. Don't know what I'm trying there with that Ronaldo shot, but I do. And it doesn't result in the penalty, thankfully. It's a sketchy thing to do, is I could have just easily sweated across there for the tap in. And again, even though there's penalty, I decided to actually aim where I wanted to score. As we all know in this game, you can just read the head movement, which is dumb. But luckily for me, he expects me to switch up last second, and we just put it top right to get us in the lead for the first time this game. And we just keep going with it. Son to Ronaldo, hits it on the pivot in the first touch there. The FIFA 19 goal there, that first time finesse. To make it 4-2. This guy does get another chance though later on in the game. Ronaldo just, I mean, he's Ronaldo, he's scoring that. But we're able to hold out and win the match 4-3. It's quite a good game that. I thought I was going to bottle it in typical me fashion. But we're still going. And that takes us in the semi-final. This is the team up against here. It's a 5 at the back with a really strong defence. The prime moment Saul Campbell is ridiculous. Never mind his attack there. Which is also very good. But 5 minutes in. Zanetti is down to right. He hits it across, Ronaldo just about misses the ball, but Lukaku, who's still on the field, goes in and taps it in, put us 1-0 up. And then 10 minutes after that, Ronaldo plays through Youngman Son, who has finally come on this game. He's too quick, this time I do just take the sweat, and we're 2-0 up. But 36 minutes in, Mbappe's playthrough, he's just too quick, hits a cross keeper, to get him a goal back. But we play through Ronaldo just in the stoppage time of the first half, drill it into the right hand side of the net, to get us a 2 goal lead back. And in the start of the second half, Son to Milinkovic Savic. It is blocked, but drops nicely for Ronaldo just to crack on the volley. 4 1 they us. And we were cruising once again at this point. 75 minutes in, though. But you can see that very nice goal out of Trent Alexander Arnold. But it was too little, too late. And we were able to push through over nearly subbed on Messi. Roll off Ronaldo. Put it at top left. And wrap up the semi final. So that puts us through to the final for the second time in the series. Second time in three drafts. We've got the final in the first one. Knocks out in the first round, the second one. And this one again, we're through to the final. See what I mean about being inconsistent? Yeah. At the end of this one we go, this is the team we're up against. A lot of prime icons in this team. Ronaldo, Butragueno, Pele, Roberto Carlos. So yeah, this was expected to be a tough one. And yeah, two minutes in, it's Pele. My defense is nowhere near him. He runs through and puts a 1-0 to him. Followed by Cristiano Ronaldo, run down the wing. Back to Ronaldinho, plays the Butragueno. I do block the shot, but it's fired straight back in. This time we turned around and does score to make it 2-0 in 8 minutes. And this was giving me flashbacks to the first draft I did. But we persevered. Son gets in here and fires in a brilliant cross to the toe of Cristiano Ronaldo. Get us one goal back. Give us that glimmer of hope. So we just kept on putting on the pressure. Ronaldinho pan through Son this time. Again, hitting the groin cross. This time finding Zanetti. Who fires that off the keeper's hands in the top corner. To bring us level. And all of a sudden things just opened up for us. Son was just completely doing his defence every time. This time the pass back goes to Ronaldinho. And we're now 3-2 in the lead. And yeah, Son in again. This time I hit him with a barrel spin. He slides him with Walker. Gets him sent off. Making it that much easier to break him down. And in the second half, we intercept the pass from Pele. It's Milinkovic Savage. He bombs on through. Gets him by the heel to heel flick. Puts it round the outside of the Yashin. 4-2 in the lead. And this pretty much secured it for me. As we're about to go in and score of Son. He hacks him down. Roberto Carlos gets him sent off. So he's now full backless. And Ronaldinho, it is an easy one for him. Sticks at top right hand corner. Brilliant finish that. And with him being down to nine men, and being three goals down, I'm not even going to bother scoring the rest of the goals because he just fully gave up. Sort of hacking me down every chance he got. Scored a couple own goals in there. But yeah, we do go and win the final this one 9 2. And that leaves us with only one more thing to do open the rewards. So, here we go. 
And what they would get, a premium gold pack and two rare gold packs. So, one of the worst rewards you can get for winning the draft, but it's fine. We're going to be selling everything, we're at 10k already, so we're pretty much guaranteed another draft. First of all, we get a few decent players now that work a bit. High Winks, Gil Klesi is actually quite expensive, being in the Istanbul Baseka share. I don't, I don't know if I pronounced that right. All I know is he's quite expensive. And the first rare gold pack, we don't get boards. Skip on three. I mean, yes, three players can sell up a few rare consumables and stuff that we will sell on. It's nothing to be annoyed about. And then to end things off, we've got our final pack here. Again, no boards. Our best player is Masakio. So yes, all that stuff we're going to be listing up. We'll see what it all sells for next episode. But do get three squad fitnesses in that one, which is pretty much guaranteed 4,500 coins. So no complaints. And yes, that is it for this episode. Next episode will be out very soon. If you did enjoy it, we so massively appreciate it if you drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, that is it for me. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Yeah.